And welcome back. Welcome to our next segment of this very special Mother's Day podcast. So, mothers come in all shapes and sizes. Okay, that was physical. (laughs) (laughs) But (laughs) they come with all kinds of circumstances. And now we're going to talk to a woman who raised a son as a single mother. And we hear so much in the media about how, oh, a woman can't raise a successful man-child. So let's talk about it today. I am so excited to be here with you, my beloved sister. (laughs) So tell me, how did you come to be a single mother? So um, I was married and I divorced. And at this time, William was about five years old. And, um, yeah, it was just the two of us, literally. Just the two of us. Just the two of us for a while. Mm. And, um, yeah, it was a roller coaster, Yeah, if I could be honest. May I ask you, what was it like when, I'm, I'm thinking at five years old, he was probably in kindergarten. What was it like going into first grade? as a single mother for you and for him? Wow. There were some challenges challenges there um, because, you know, um, going through a divorce, it's not easy. And so we had to work through um, our personal feelings for one another, meaning his father and I. So once we got past that hurdle, Things began to, we could co-parent together Mm -hmm. and do things together, and it just kind of made things a little more easier. Yeah. But it was not easy. I don't (laughs) imagine it is. It doesn't sound like it. William, what do you remember about the time right after your parents divorced? I think it took me a lot of time to just process the fact that they were divorced. Okay. I mean, just from what I saw and... My mom said it best. I mean, they really worked together yeah. to keep me at the center of it, not to make them about themselves or mm-hmm. my mom out to get my dad, my dad out to get my mom. It was like they still worked around it uh, to make it work for me. So I didn't experience it. I just thought it was normal. I'm like, well, okay. my mom, you know, my dad picks me up from school. I go to his house. I play basketball in the backyard after I'm done playing home, doing my homework. And then she comes to pick me up after work. And it just, it became normal for me. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really start dealing with the divorce part until it was like, what, junior high? Yeah. yeah. When they actually was like, yeah, you know, your parents are divorced. I'm just like, oh. Really? <laughs> because it was like they just had such a good relationship yeah. working with, you know, just keeping me at the focus of it. So what, you said I didn't start dealing with it until junior high. What started you did what triggered you dealing with it being in a catholic school most of the parents i mean most of the families were two-parent households Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. when i you know said i stayed with my mom or my dad you're like oh your parents are divorced and it kind of got on me that way a little bit so it not saying bullying per se but Mm -hmm. it was it it did make me feel like i was on the outskirts yeah Yeah, different for sure Mm -hmm. for sure tell me and I'm going to ask you the same question. Okay. What was the most difficult, most challenging thing about raising a young man? Uh-oh, I see the laughing. <laughs> well, um, you know, when they reach a certain age, they will try you yes. um, when you're trying to enforce things. And um, so I had to let them know, hey, I was still boss, even though I told you you were the little man around the house. But I was still the person of authority, and you're going to respect it. And, um, yeah, you know, there were times when he would, um, you know, talk back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I always had the last say, Mm -hmm. no matter where it was. I'm like, you go show yourself here? Okay, I'm going to show myself too. So um, once we established that, and then, um, you know, I would call his father. His father... um, did not live close by. He was two hours away oh. in another state. And so he would talk to William, and then he would, um, you know, he would always 
reinforce to William that, you know, respect your mom, look after your mom, and that I really appreciated him yeah. for doing that. And so, um, you know, there were just little hurdles here and there, but, you know, we, we went, we got through it. Yeah. And um, you can when you work together, you know. In the beginning, yes, it was a little rocky with the um, divorce, the separation, the divorce, and um, but we had to come together and say, hey, it's not about us at this point. We have to raise him together. How can we make this work? And at the time, um, his father was dating someone else, and they ended up getting married. So we bring her into the picture because, you know, she has to sometimes pick him up or drop him off. And so we just had a, you know, a great relationship. It didn't start out great, but it ended up great. Wow. That, <laughs> sure did. that is so, that's impactful. Because mm -hmm. in this day where there's so much fighting that we see on social media, mm -hmm. this can be done. That kind of peace can achieve, be achieved. Now, let me ask you this, William. What was the most challenging part for you to be raised in a house with a woman? Being in church 24-7. <laughs> 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 uh, I think growing up when you were younger, you just had the joy. Like we grew up in a fam with our family church, so being around my cousins and mm -hmm. family friends are like that. But it's like once we separated from there, we were looking for a church home. We bounced around from John Hanna to uh, where else did we go? I think we went to Smokey. Didn't we yeah, go there? yeah, yeah. And then we, we visited a lot. Yeah, came here and it was just like just getting involved in church and getting kind of into it mm -hmm. was really tough for me because I was an introvert. So uh -huh. coming here, she would like to sit in the middle and we'd be packed in. I didn't like it. I was like, yeah. I just don't like people touching me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I'm here, but um, the foundation was the one thing that was challenging, but it was challenging in a good way. Mm -hmm. Uh, your father can teach you how to be a man, but your mom, she lays the foundation. Mm -hmm. Your father, he builds you, but he, your mom, she teaches you how to, what keeps you grounded, you know, like some of those things. So that's one of the things I cherish the most. I look at, you know, even when I challenged her the most, I was challenging her because I knew she was right. I just want to be right, you know, like yeah. I knew she was right, but I'm like, I want to be right too. Yeah. So I don't want to like just lose, you know what I'm saying? But in the end, it's like when I go through my life situations and my my journey, every step of the way, I'm realizing, like, dang, she was right. Like, mm -hmm. you know, she taught me from, you know, to always give thanks to God. Like, even when I was working, she was like, make sure you tithe. And, like, mm -hmm. little things like that, you can't get that elsewhere. So, yeah. for sure, definitely the faith. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. what one thing would you like to thank her for? Just stand firm in her faith. I mean, that's something that is needed. Uh, I look at not just for myself, but for other people, how she's remained humble, how she kept the Lord first and everything that she does, how she continues to give thanks to God, um, how she continues to walk in with that grace, you know, and giving people grace and love, like, you don't get that elsewhere. You can't get that everywhere. I have to share her with everybody. And I'm okay with it now. At first, it was kind of it was kind of hard for, hey, mama, burn. Uh, that's my mama. Like, <laughs> but you know, I I realized that it's it's a spirit that she has that is very rare, mm -hmm. and is very precious, and it's to be cherished. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn. Uh, she's very firm, but at the same time, too, she's she's a softy too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I definitely would just say the faith, her faith and her foundation is definitely the one thing I thank you for. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and since you do walk with a level of grace and this quiet, classic beauty that we don't always see a lot of, where have you or have you ever felt discouraged? Oh, yes. <laughs> As a mother, maybe questioned um, if you were doing the right thing. Absolutely. I think, um, oh, yeah, <laughs> because I'm not perfect. And, um, you know, there were there have been times, you know, he's like he stated that, you know, I always get it right. But um, there were times when I got it wrong and I did admit to him that, mm -hmm. oh, well, I didn't know it was that way or should have been done that way. And I apologized. 
you know, I was humble enough to say, well, son, I'm sorry. I really did not understand it that way, you know, because when I was growing up, you know, it didn't happen this way. We didn't do it this way. And so I think that made our relationship a little stronger, too, because, you know, I'm letting him know, hey, I'm not perfect, even though I want to, you know, walk around like I have all the answers and know everything. But uh, when I'm wrong, I will be the first to admit that I'm wrong. That's precious. I wonder if you can give some give some wisdom to the woman who is raising a son by herself, who feels discouraged, who maybe has messed up a lot. What one piece of advice could you give her to encourage her on this Mother's Day? Um, well, I would say to the mother, um, you can make it. And... As the songwriter, we fall down, but we get up. Just get up and keep moving. You're not in it alone. And um, know that God is with you every step of the way. If you put him first, he truly will direct your path Mm -hmm. in everything. And I mean everything. (laughs) Do the good, the bad, when the money's short, (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) when you get laid off. You know, um, we've, we've had some little rough, rocky Um, situations, but you always put God first and lean on your, um, that support system. If you have family, friends, even church family, um, just don't be afraid to ask because people are there to really help you there. And the Lord will show you the right people. (laughs) He he will put the right people in your path. Um, even here at the Valley, there were some very um, instrumental men that stepped up. And, you know, I'm like, well, William's not really fatherless, fatherless. He do have a father. But mm-hmm. there were men that came in and took him under his wing, under their wings and, um, you know, helped to kind of culture him, cultivate him a little bit. And I thought that was just, um, you know, something that I really cherished. That is precious. Now I'm going to put the spotlight on you, sir. (laughs) All right. What advice would you have for the young man who might be angry because he's being raised by his mother and there's this a void and empty space? What what wisdom would you share with him this Mother's Day? Just be grateful because some people don't have a mother. Some people are not even blessed in that that sense so just be grateful that you have a mother there um and to lean Mm -hmm. sometimes we as men we are sometimes afraid to be vulnerable to our parents and especially our mothers so i would say talk because unfortunately it's it's the hardest thing to do but once you do it it's such a release the hardest thing to do. <laughs> you all are amazing. Now, I know you're an adult man now. Are you still as close as you were when you all were in the thick of it together? <laughs> Honestly, we're closer now. I would say now more than ever. Uh, I wasn't a super big talker when I was younger because I leaned more to my dad because my dad was a little bit more my speed because he could just make me cry in an instance however when my mom cries I cried okay but my dad I don't know what it was about my dad it's just like he would just make me ball in tears on but purpose no no oh, like okay. if <laughs> like if I had to leave him I would just be like oh, in tears okay. I don't want to yeah. leave him my mom was a little bit more sh- strict growing up so mm-hmm. it, you can get the put two and two together there yeah. <laughs> yeah. but uh gotcha. As I've gotten older, I realized that she wasn't strict. She was just laying the foundation. And I've come to, like, get closer to that. And then it's like I lean on it. I mean, we just went through our first class together here at the Valley, and we completed it. That's yeah. great. <laughs> MSG class. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I had taken it, like, many, many years ago. But when he said he was going to take it, I'm like, oh, I'm going to sign up again, too. It'll be a good refresher. And we took oh, it together, and we, we leaned on each other throughout the class. Yeah. So, for well, sure. now I'm getting ready to lean on you all. <laughs> MSG, you probably shouldn't have told me that because I know what that class is. Yes. So I am going to ask you mm-hmm. to give 
an encouraging word to the mothers out there for this Mother's Day? Just keep doing what you're doing. What you're doing is not going unnoticed. Uh, just can keep laying that foundation. It's what's needed in our lives. Uh, to continue to keep God first and continue to instill the things that you are instilling in your sons because it does not go unnoticed and it's definitely what's needed for the, for them to be a better man in the future. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> and I would say to the child or children, the Bible instructs us that children should obey their parents in the way mm -hmm. of the Lord. And so, um, you know, obey your parents. Your parents know. And you can make it because we did. Yep. Amen. You can make it because we did. Thank you all so much. This amazing mother and son <laughs> that we got to see. We hear so much in the media about, oh, you know, young men are going nuts because there are no dads in the home. Well, that's not true. Mm -mm. So thank you for joining us for this segment, and we'll see you for the next one. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs>